Do you guys think if you took any play at random in Madden and ran it every single play that you would eventually master it and learn how to throw it against every coverage, every defense, every blitz scheme. Today, we are going to find out. I am going to be picking a play at random. Okay, we're going to go into team selection practice. I'm going to literally pick one pass play. I'm going to run 100 times in a row. At the end, we're going to calculate our stats, how I did that. I'm going to let you guys know how it felt running this same play and see if you can kind of read the defenses, get better as you go. I played college football, so I'm really, really curious about this. If you guys enjoy these type of videos, make sure you go ahead and kill the like button for me real quick. Hit the button and comment down below what I should do next. Do you guys think I should throw to Ezekiel Elliott 100 times in a row? Do you guys think I should throw bombs to Randy Moss 100 times in a row? Comment down below your ideas. I'll show you all your comments if I use it. Enjoy, guys. Okay, guys. So today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be picking a play at complete random. Any passing play and running it 100 straight times in online games. I'm going to see exactly how I do. I'm going to see what my average yards per play is. And we're going to see if I can actually win games doing it without any adjustments. Just to see if people will pick up on it. If how much scheme really or how much skill matters more than scheme essentially okay i'm on this team right now this is how we're gonna pick our random play i'm gonna hit l2 three times one two three that is gonna give us the new york giants play. we're gonna load in with the new york giants play. it has to be a pass play that is the only rule i'm gonna go in we're gonna go to random play if the random play that we get ends up being a pass play good if not we're gonna redo it one more time just to make sure i'm not gonna cut right now because i don't want you guys to think i'm cheating this or try to do anything crazy. I'm literally just gonna hit a random play. Whatever the random play comes up as, we are gonna run that every single time for this entire thing. So we're gonna go down here, random play, defense, four, three, cover three, sky, and this is the play we get. Okay, that is a lot better than it definitely could have been. So this is obviously out of the five wide, two streaks, one dig, and one drag. If this is just gonna be seams, all day so essentially what i'm going to be doing is running this play like i said a hundred times in a row and seeing what the result is just to double check i just want to make sure i haven't ran the play before just so our average is not too out of whack uh within the whole situation that's out of the empty flex um one second that is the no okay so the play itself is the y shallow cross i've ran 11 times so by the end of this we're gonna have run it 111 times Let's go try out this challenge. Running this 100 times in a row online, no adjustments, and let's see if we can win some games. Okay, fellas, so I took the play, and I'm gonna be doing this in kind of an interesting way. I have all 100 plays, and you guys are gonna see all this. So this is game one going up against the Rams. I'm gonna be talking through what I found going. Like, I, at the beginning, I realized that there was a very specific defense that was gonna be able to stop it, a man coverage um kind of rovering but you would have definitely had to blitz play back especially against a team like the titans and this guy actually started the game running this a ton he had blitzers because i was running the same play every single time he knew exactly where to use her he eventually caught on i was lost i was throwing streaks and i was really really struggling to score points and then as i went i was like okay can i throw to humphreys started trying to do different things and then as i went i slowly picked up on things i slowly started okay i was watching his user seeing what he was doing i realized that he wasn't a great user i realized that he was pressing up a little bit too much so i might be able to hit david it got easier as i went despite the good pass rush as you can see at tab number 12 i start throwing these seams as soon as he backed up those corners i was able to throw the quick seam over the middle the timing i was worried to throw to walker and i was willing to take a sack before a pick and i was okay with that from the very beginning because i knew a sack is not the other worth here i hit delaney walker because he starts getting a little comfortable in that defense i take the field goal to get three points of this one play and as we go like i said i start realizing things then i'm like okay if he's gonna isolate and go delaney walker now i am put in a position where if i can move matthews to walker i can quickly hit humphreys and i can also hit taylor over the middle like i said this is one play that i am running but every single time i'm running it i am getting that much more confident. I'm getting that much better there. Mariota breaks the tackle. Ends up there. That play was actually really, really sick. So attempt number 21. 21-3. I hit Humphreys. I start realizing. And that's what I was talking about at the beginning. Of, like, could you make any play a money play? I start realizing that if you take, and there we get a touchdown with Marcus Mariota. If you look and you take any play and give it enough time, you can make it a money play despite who you're playing. There, Delaney Walker. He was in a position now. He had two guys to use or he did not know What's new? Attempt number 25, I'm getting real confident with it. I know exactly when to throw the pass lead down with the possession catch to Taiwan Taylor. I wanted to try and take a shot there. Eric Weddle picks me off on 26. I had no other reads. That was the problem. On a third down and eight, 
I had no other reads. I had nothing else I could possibly do there. I try and throw over the Humphreys on a dot. It was tough. I'm not gonna lie. This was very, very tough. But at the end, I'm gonna have the numbers of the experiment. You guys are gonna see just exactly how this went. Attempt number 29, scrambling. I get sassy, and Aaron Donald did not make sending So the first game we ended up losing. This is the second game uh, going up against Green Bay. I am that much more confident. That first guy, he played man the entire time. This guy started coming on the zone. So I was like, you know what? This is gonna be very, very easy. Pass lead low, get the ball to Humphreys. Look around. He's eventually gonna catch on. If he's smart, he'll play man, but not everyone knows how to stop certain plays. So because it was a zone, I was able to dissect it. I was able to run the same play over and over again on this dude. Zero adjustments, literally a stock play and move the ball on a pretty solid opponent. Here, I roll out, I throw off my back foot and I try and get it to Taylor. The red zone was the toughest and there, oh my goodness, I tried to throw a back shoulder low pass. I ended up getting intercepted. That was the most frustrating thing in the red zone. I kept getting picked. There, Taiwan Taylor open with a rat catch. I'm like, I'm not giving up. I know I can move the ball. It is what it is, Delano. That's why I'm curious to see, like if I did this challenge with anything, how successful could I be? And I think at this point, I'm averaging a pretty good chunk. Like my completion percentage, I believe around a 1050 was about 65% or so. There we hit Delaney Walker. He gets a little space to run with a stiff arm. In the red zone again, I throw it. Humphreys is out of bounds. I just hated the red zone with a passion against this guy. I try and throw it up for Taiwan Taylor because there's nothing I could do and I end up throwing another pick in the red zone. That's where I was just being absolutely stupid. Attempt number 44. Because I know eventually I'm gonna learn how to score in the red zone because this is not a play. If you cover X on that play and just play a zone in the red zone, I am completely obsolete. Attempt number 46. Looking around, Delaney Walker gets open on the outside, but bam, we're moving on. Attempt number 47. Marcus Mariota scrambles out, looks around, gets a decent chunk and gets out of bounds. Attempt number 48. I try and throw a fade to Corey Davis. It is a total fail. Attempt number 49. I'm looking around. I'm trying to see what to do. And I finally get him. It's about freaking time. So now we're about halfway through. And the last two drives, last three drives, I have gotten all the way to the red zone. With one play. Here it's the fourth quarter. I just throw it up there. Uh, for no reason, I, that really did not make a lot of sense. Because when I was boxed, I was boxed. When I was completely taken away, there was nothing that I could do because people are inherently kind of smart, especially the ones who are like at a decent level in Madden because my record's pretty good. They were pretty smart. They were able to do their thing here. I scramble away with Marcus Mariota. I wish I would've got his feet more involved. It's 14 to seven at the moment. I'm scrambling around. I'm looking, I'm out of options. Mariota just gets out of bounds. But now I'm gonna get to my thesis, okay? The whole argument that you could take, like the money play argument, I agree because this obviously was a decent play. The play that I could have got could have been a whole lot worse. But I will say, because a lot of times, and that catch was absolutely disgusting, a lot of times I get critiqued from our offense. That game I actually ended up winning in the end. He didn't score, we got a pick, we ended up winning. In general, what I will say is the toughest thing in any game, like, I get flack last year for bunch sand. That was like, this year I'm running that's far tight close. The reason why I can score on people running is because I run it a lot. And I think that's what this experiment really showed me is if I wanted to run a five wide offense and I just did it over and over and over again, imagine if I had adjustments. Imagine if I could actually pick the plays that I was doing, how good I would be. Like literally, I realized that up against four opponents, I was able to use this one play and march down the entire field. How insane is that? And then we're here we're at attempt number 68. We're throwing the ball real nice. Find an opening in the back of the end zone. Cannot quite complete attempt number 69. Looking for the back of the end zone, Taiwan Taylor. And we get him, we're 70 attempts in. I love you guys. I, I'm gonna talk for today. If you guys are listening to this video right now and you guys like this concept, of a video, uh, let me know by just commenting hashtag blue. Just comment hashtag blue would mean the world to me because I'm actually gonna, I, I'm fascinated with the whole idea of, um, like I like playing Madden, but I also like looking at things like this because I like to think I have a football mind. How much, like if I took a high school football coach, like 
I know a lot about reading defenses. I know a lot about coverages. I can pick them up as soon as I'm at the line because I played football for so long. And I'm always curious, like, okay. And here I throw a stupid pass. That that was attempt number 76. Uh, it's getting late in the attempt thing. I just start throwing rockets downfield. And then I throw a nice pass uh, to Taylor over the middle. Delaney Walker's dance around. Everybody's dancing around. And we throw a perfect pass to Corey Davis. Unfortunately, it is incomplete. But you can see that guy, he's got brilliant. But as I was saying, like, I would like to try this again with a different pass play. Because I ended up finishing this one 2-2. Two and two. Uh, and my stats at the end, which you guys are going to see in a second, my stats at the end were not that bad. It was kind of crazy the success that I had. And the three out of the four guys that I played actually had good records, had winning records online. And with this single play, and oh my gosh, Mariota fumbles. So incredibly frustrating. Uh, down seven zip, Delaney Walker. We find him. Attempt number 83. Attempt number 84. I'm looking for the end zone. I'm swerving. I'm swerving. I got Taiwan Taylor. Now I knew as I went, a possession catch with him from right there was absolutely disgusting. There I find again. And if you pass lead low, that's the trick on those. You had to pass lead low. Delaney Walker gets in for the touchdown. Down. I'm up 14 7. I had I ended up getting a pick six. Mariota looking around. I find Taylor. Once again, he moves up. We're getting close to that 100 attempt thing. Humphreys is found over the middle with an absolute taunt, a dot. Attempt number 90. Now we're just toying with people. I got this so figured out. He's trying to use her. He has no idea what he's doing. I know exactly where to move in the pocket. I know exactly what to do. And he is on an island and he is just lost on that island. I throw the end and that was probably the best dot I had in the entire game. That one was so incredibly sick. We throw it there and I get picked. That's where I'm just getting overconfident. Uh, I was up pretty big in this game, so I was willing to kind of take some risks, but I hindsight always tells you, probably should not be taking uh, those risks. Throw to the end zone. I get intercepted again on the seam. The seam was probably the toughest ball to throw. Here I go back shoulder to Deion Lewis on attempt number 100. Guys, I have the totals coming at you right now. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over the stats of how exactly the 100 plays went running this every single time. I was 61 for 86, which is about a 71% completion ratio, which is actually really, really good. 840 yards, two touchdowns, three interceptions. All three interceptions came in the red zone because it was super, super tough to run that play in the red zone. But honestly, I would say I'm pretty pleased with that. Our average yards per play was seven. .6. You think running that play every single time, you're getting 7.6 a pop, you're going to have a lot of success. And we actually started off with about 5 yards per play, as you saw at the beginning. So there was definitely a big improvement in that. Overall, I will say, game-wise, uh, I, I lost 2 of 3. Um, the, game, the second game was really, really close uh, against the Packers. I wasn't really trying too hard on defense in this. The first game, I got blown by a guy just running with Todd Gurley the whole time. Third game, I blow the guy out. But I would say, on average, I bet I could win 50% of games right now one play if I learned how to do it correctly. Those are the stats, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see me do next. I thought it was very interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you all. I'll see you guys next time.